Hi everybody, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a backup of your FA06, FA08 music workstations. Now when I say create a backup of your FA, what does that really mean? That means that I am creating a backup, a file, of all of your files that live inside your FA06, FA08 music workstation. Files such as your sequences, all your different uh, studio sets you've created, custom patches, even some of the different, uh, all the different samples you've done. So let's learn how to do that now. So first off, I'm gonna press the menu button. Now inside the menu settings, I'm gonna cursor over to utility. Once I'm in utility, I'm gonna press select. Now I'm gonna create a backup and select. Now here I can name that backup whatever I want to name it. So if I'm creating a backup of all my files that I use for a church gig or for a world tour or just my favorite uh, songs that I'm working on, I can go ahead and name that backup file so I know what backup files are available. So I'm going to cancel that now. And when I'm ready, all I do is press backup. So now on the screen, you can see a pop-up that says, are you sure? Uh, this is just to let you know that you're creating a backup. It's not going to do anything negative to the keyboard. So let's press OK. So what you're going to see now is the keyboard is processing and taking all this information, you know, like I said, uh, all of your different studio sets, your samples, your patches, everything you've created, and saving it to the SD card. That's where all of the backup information is saved. As many of you know, when you buy an FA06, FA08 music workstation, you get a four gigabyte SD card. Now, uh, you can go ahead and update that to a 32 gigabyte SD card, which is plenty. There's a lot of information you can store there. So once I create that backup, I can go ahead and pull out my SD card, put that file in my computer or an FTP or Dropbox, or wherever you need to put it to keep it safe, and you have it. So that way, if someone comes up to your keyboard and they do a factory reset or they factory reset your card or the card fails or your keyboard gets stolen, whatever the case may be, uh, you will have a backup of that keyboard. So when you replace it or it's done factory resetting or anything like that, you can bring back those files. So now I'm gonna teach you how to restore those files from the backup. So for instance, let's say our SD card failed, but fortunately we do have a backup that we've saved in the computer. So what you would do next is you would take that new SD card and you would format it. Let me show you how to do that very quickly. Once again, press the menu button. It's already on utility, select, and then we would go down to format SD card. Now, the card that I'm using is already formatted. Everything's cool, so we're not gonna do that. So after we did that, we would take that SD card, put it in the computer, find that backup file, and just drag and drop it to the new SD card. Once that's completed, just take that SD card, put it inside your FA, and follow these steps to restore your previously backed up information. So once again, press the menu button, and now we're gonna go back to utility, select, and we're gonna go to restore. Once we're at restore, just select, find the different backup that you wanna use, and then just press restore. And it's gonna say, are you sure? Now here's what's gonna happen. When it puts that restore, anything that's in the FA at that time that hasn't been backed up will be gone. It's be lost, okay, erased. In, is so that way you can use the restored file. So if there's information you wanna save before you restore, make sure, you make sure that you create a different backup. So I'm gonna press okay, and it's processing. Now it's taking all those files that I previously backed up, all my different sounds and my studio sets and my samples and my songs, and it's the, storing them back to my FA06, FA08 music workstation. You guys uh, definitely do this from time to time on your FAs uh, because stuff happens. SD cards fail, uh, you accidentally overwrite something, someone is uh, using your keyboard that doesn't know what they're doing and they erase all of your information. So this is just something good to do from time to time. So try this out, back up all of your work, and I will talk to you later. Take care.